Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are fine. I hope you guys are okay. So today we, I'm going to make another make another video about Qualys. Uh, the specific module is VMDR, okay, vulnerability management detection and and response. So today we are going to install the Qualys Cloud Agent. Qualys Cloud Agent basically gives you access to the entire information about the operating system. Okay, it's very, very used. And sometimes we just scan using the IP, uh, the IP. and other times we use like Qualys Agent. Actually, all the time, almost, we use Qualys Agent. So the first thing, how can we install Qualys Agent, Cloud Agent? We are going to visit Cloud Agent, okay? I already have two operating system. Actually, I have two assets installed here. The first one is a Windows 7, and the second one is a Windows 10, okay? So how can we download it? First thing, we have to go to activation keys. I have already one. I already have one key right here. So for me, I just have to click install agent. And then it's going to give me the install instructions that I don't need actually. Okay, actually I need. So I will click here. And then we have the hash. This one is the hash. I already have it. So the first thing is, uh, Qualys works for many operating systems, uh, including mobile. So we can install on Windows, okay? And then here we have some requirements. Uh, check the supported versions, actually it supports from Windows 7 to Windows Server 2022. And then we have to install to install the agent, we must have local administrator. It means like we have to run CMD as administrator. Uh, and the Qualys Cloud Platform agent should and need access to work and connects to 443 port. Okay. We have proxy. Yes, if we use proxy, we have to add some extra configurations. So steps to ins install cloud agent basically you are going to copy this okay and then you are going to dow download the exe right here we have an example of how we should install Qualys agent but i'm going to open my windows 7 again i already have the Qualys cloud agent exe and uh well i'm working with a virtual machine and the copy and paste not working so i had to use send anywhere.com uh, it helps a lot normally i don't make publicity from websites or things like that but it's useful so i recommend to you guys i'm already on the folder where Cl qualis cloud agent is downloaded so i'm going to right click and paste so when I press enter, there's going to do two things. Well, on this machine, cloud agent is already installed, as I told you guys. But normally it's going to give you Qualys agent was installation was successfully uh, cloud agent was successfully installed. Let me see here on my Windows 10 if I have this message. Here, something like that. Successfully installed Qualys Windows Cloud Agent. Okay, that's all we have to do on our machines. So back in here, we can see the agents in Cloud Agent. Okay, but we are not going to work here. Let me open just for you guys to see. You ask details here. We can see many details. 
we can see country, we can see the version, the building version, we can see many things. The, if it's running on VMware, what kind of virtualization it's using, a DNS hostname, FQDN, NetBuild's name, IP address before, uh, the system information, all the information we, we need is here. Okay, uh, and then here the services that are running or stopped, all the services. Okay, and then the users, how many users we have, what their names are. So the agent summary, I'm not going to show you guys because it's going to show my public IP address and I don't want to do that. Okay, so network information, we have like the MAC address, we have the local IP address, we have IPv6 version, the full gateway, the NS server, we have open ports, there's no open ports, so it's okay. Uh, so, so installed software, we have like the standards from Windows, so there's not going to show. Now, he, this is an important thing, vulnerabilities, okay, I didn't scan that host yet. So it's not going to show vulnerabilities. Also, I didn't add it to my VMDR vulnerability management. So it's not going to show also. Okay, so compliance. Uh, there is a very nice module, compliance. And alert notifications, patch management. We could uh, manage all the patches here, install them, all of them. Okay, so back into VMDR. Uh, let me see if it's going to show something. Okay, fetching here is the the quality uh, VMDR true risk. We can just delete or edit what we want here. We can add widgets. Okay, uh, here we can search for uh, vulnerabilities fixed and many others. Uh, I I recommend you guys to check it out because it's going to help a lot. Okay, here, it's all you have to use in your job every single day. Vulnerabilities, as I told you guys, there is none because I didn't add the assets to the VMDR yet. So, what uh, we're going to see, prioritization. Here is a very nice thing because let's say you work, uh, but first we have to select create text. Okay, there is the default dashboard, internet facing, like the internet facing is uh, web servers, okay, exposed computers to the internet. Cloud agent, we could use cloud agent. Let's say, let's see what happens here. So we can select the potential impacts. RTI, right? Real time threat indicators. Like there is potentially data loss. It's high. Yeah, we could mark it. Warmable, yes. Patch not available. Like uh, we have a um, Windows Server 2008. Now there is end of life, right? UL. So there is no patch available. So this could include here, Windows 7 is the same thing, Windows XP is an example. There is a possibility of privilege escalation, DNS, denial of service, or active threats, like active attacks, malware, zero day, exploit kit, public exploits, like we have a man uh, exploit database, right? And exists a public exploit yes so is a threat then we have to select uh easy exploit like a kid could exploit this vulnerability yes so we should manage it too okay back to here and then in the scans we are going to use almost all the time these scans okay like we can create scans right here and then we could scan a, we could give a title and then select the profile option. We can select, normally we can companies, big companies, 
like the company I work for. They edit, they create their own profile and they put their own rules inside. Okay, so let's say top two, uh, quality, top 20 options. And then the global, external, the full, or always comes in asset group. Let's say lab one. Let's see if it's going to work. And here I'm going to take lab. Let's see if it's going to work. If it works, it's nice. But I think it's not going to work now because I did. Okay, scanner invalid value. Okay, let's put the full. And it's going to give me another error. Then we are going to work on it on the next class. Okay. So I knew that's going to happen because it happens to me sometimes. Now uh, we have many other options here, but now we can like we can go to assets this is the point i want to go with you guys then we have networks we have address management okay here is a one but we can add another one okay we have domains we have virtual hosts we have asset groups i created one before lab Asset search. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this group over here. I'm going to edit. We can check just the info. Also, we can change the name, IP address, DNS. We can do many other things here. Users. So why users? Because uh, not here, but in the scan we have authenticated and unauthenticated scan. Okay. So there's a very big difference. One, two, dot, one, six, eight, dot, nineteen, dot, ten, thirty. If, right. Let me see, I have IP config. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to save it. Error message or not? Um, in a user scope account okay so we're going to see all this later okay and probably there's some limitations also because of so here in asset search we can search for a specific IP address or we can select a asset group like lab okay and then we can use in the tracking mode to ip address dns hostname netbuse hostname cloud agent is that one i'm going to use and then i'm going to search okay in the search we are going to have many many information so i'm going to click here and look we have all the information we use cloud agent as tag and the lab that's as the group name and then we have other informations like we have comments we have vulnerabilities that it's, it's loading let's see if it's going to find something tickets the tickets that are opened with this host so we have like action logs we have search gates authentication there is no authentication records it means like the scan is not authenticated either okay so sa asset group there's from lab so users there is not registered here so here tickets zero for all of them never had a problem now here we have also vulnerability zero potential vulnerability zero information gathered zero because uh first there is nothing running but still there is uh, updates to install and there's possible possible two or three parts i opened so in the next class we are going to start working really to manage to check to scan vulnerabilities on that targets okay so thanks a lot guys and 
If you like this video, give me a like. If you are not subscribed, subscribe to my channel. And well, that's all. See you guys in the next video.